blah, 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 blah. Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to be going over the first service on the SV2 as well as bolting on some protection stuff like radiator guards, the sump guards, and some stuff to clean it up like a tail tidy. So let's quit wasting time and let's get to it. So with these V4s, it's not a whole new game with an oil change, it's still just a simple oil change, but it does help to have the bike cold, so all the oil is actually pulled up in the bottom of the reservoir there. Once you've cracked your drain bolt loose, you can just go ahead and spin that off like normal, and see how much piston you have on your drain bolt. So, looks like it's not too bad, we got a couple shards here and there, fresh. Italian piston right there, rings and all that. Don't worry about that guy, that's supposed to be there. In all seriousness, it is super common to have shavings, especially on your first couple changes, so don't be super alarmed. It's just a Ducati thing, and uh, it's just kind of normal. And uh, we're just gonna give them a quick wipe off, clean our magnet back up, so everything is nice and clean when we put it back in. So now once you have that back bolt off, you can go ahead and remove your filter. That is the three eight millimeters right in front of it. Once you have removed your three sump eight millimeter bolts, you're gonna need to get some extra bolts laying around. The thread is M8 by 125, just about any length will do. But you're gonna go ahead and now thread these back in to your cover and these are going to act as a puller and push up and push this black plastic plate down so you can go ahead and make a gap here. And you're going to want to thread these in evenly to apply the pressure across the whole plate. So now that all our bolts are in, we can go ahead and apply pressure evenly. And these bolts will start to push that gap out. You start to, can you guys see that? And so we're pushing these bolts up and creating that gap right there that you're starting to see. Once you start to get that gap, you should be able to go ahead and start wiggling it out. And let all of that drain. And the next step will be to go ahead and reach inside and you go ahead and wiggle this thing out. Drain that, there is your stock oil filter. You go ahead and dispose of that. Don't forget to remove your top oil fill cap as well. Now, one thing to note when you're changing the oil on your V4, these things take a lot of time for the oil to actually drain out of them, which is one of the reasons we talked about letting all that oil settle to the bottom of the sump. Once you have all your bolts loose and opened up, let it drain the oil out of it for a significant amount of time before you go ahead and tighten everything back up. I'm not affiliated in any way, but Ducati Omaha makes a really nice kit. They send you all the oil, the filter, a new crush washer, and the O-rings you need all to change in one nice package, and it's pretty reasonably priced too. So that's where I ordered my oil from, and let's get this thing filled up. So before we go ahead and put this back on, we are going to go ahead and replace the two O-rings that are on there that were included in the kit. So take your pick and you can go ahead and pry them right out. And then just like you took off, replace with the new ones. Here is the part number for the oil filter. Once you've gone ahead and let all the oil drain out of it, you can go ahead and install your new filter. Here's what the Ducati OEM filter looks like, and it is gonna be open side up. So go ahead and just snake that in there, and then you're gonna hear a little click. And then that is how you're gonna know it is installed. Make sure you hear the click. So we've got our order in from Evotech Performance, and it looks like a Christmas box in here. There's so many little packages. This stuff is super sweet. It's gonna be protected all by Evotech and this sump guard especially. This thing is so cool. So I know where we can use this, so let's go put it on. Go ahead and reinsert your cover. And using the bolts, we're gonna go ahead and use it to suck this back in. Make sure your drain bolt is clean before you put it back in and you can go ahead and apply your new crush washer and reinstall back in the bike. 
Be careful when tightening both the oil drain bolt and the oil filter bolts that you don't over tighten them. With everything cleaned up, we can go ahead and install our new Evotech sump guard. I went ahead and got the gold one because it's cool. But go ahead and just lay it right over your sump and then they supplied Allen bolts. You can go ahead and thread on up and through. Now with everything sealed up on the bottom and our funnel on top, we can go ahead and add our oil. Everyone online from what I can find says the oil capacity is just over three liters. So we're gonna go ahead and start there and add three. Now on our last jug, we're just gonna go ahead and add just a little bit before we go ahead and check it. And for the finishing touch, we're gonna go ahead and add this CNC Racing drilled oil cap. This thing is super nice. They sure don't make this easy, do they? What the? So once the bike's got a little bit of heat in it, we can go ahead and check the oil. So over on the left side of the bike here is our sight glass. And as you can see, there are two little notches. Our bottom one is the minimum fill and the top one is the maximum fill. You're gonna wanna go ahead and give the V4 a ton of time for all that oil to sit down in here so you can get an accurate reading. So go ahead and make sure the bike is level and let the oil drain to the sump. They say to wait overnight and check it again in the morning, so definitely keep an eye on it, but wait as long as you can before you can get an accurate reading. That will be your best result. All right, so we've gone ahead and waited some bit of time now, and as you can see, our fill line is right about at the top marker. So I'm gonna go ahead and check this in the following days just to make sure it stays good and we didn't overfill it. But as of now, I think we're gonna call it good. Before we ride anymore, we absolutely have to get rid of this atrocious billboard on the back of this thing. So let's go ahead and get this cleaned up. And we're gonna go ahead and replace it with the Fulcrum Forged Carbon Tail Tidy. And before we go ahead and install it, we're gonna blue our titanium plate holder. All right, now we're out in the sunlight and look at the difference in that. This looks so cool. So we got a little bit of coloring on our plate frame. We're gonna go ahead and let this cool down and install it on the bike. And with our plate bracket blued up, we can go ahead and install it. And there it is. Look how much better and cleaner that tail looks now. All we have left to do is put the plate on it and we're gonna go for a little ride. Okay, so the service light is on. So we're gonna go get this thing cleared at Ducati. Bam. Jordan is with us today with his bright new boots. Look at them slick old things. Oh, new boot goofing. Woo -hoo, bow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're crazy, dude. My bike can't do wheelies like that. It's way too reckless for me. I'm not, I'm a good boy. I've never broke the law, literally ever. That's not me, dude. That's not who I am. That's not what I support. Especially not through school zones, you know what I mean? Like, that would be the worst. Imagine the influence you'd have on the children. It's sad. No one, no one, no one does wheelies for the kids. I don't know about you, but my right foot is like melting on this bike. I don't know if it's the exhaust or the clutch, but like the back of my heel, the back of my heel catches a lot of heat. Maybe because it's just sitting in the sunlight. Maybe it's the angle. Maybe I'm just baking, baking my foot. Did it work? Well, how did it not work? I popped it down. Oh, it's up for you? not up for me <laughs> sorry I'm not unfamiliar with the pores no don't lie to him 
Don't lie to him. I tried to kill switch him and his is mine's up and his is down, so I I messed it up. This guy. Sick bike, bro. Thanks, man. Uh, yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> you hurt me. You can't park there. You can't, you can't park there, dude. Desert X, boy. Oh, the old V park job. We're the coolest, literally. That is sick. Those are the ones you can jump like 30 feet. Yeah, you can just like set. They're like they're like literally dirt bikes.